Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Genjoy Plans. Today I'm doing a mock spread featuring this Leonard Designs Dark Souls kit. And I am using just a slew of foil. Most of it is like hol like sparkly hollow. Um, and then like I tried to do kind of celestial. I had these celestial underlays and in like sparkly hollow. And then I had these like sparkly moon header overlays. And I had no idea what I was doing here, clearly, because I started with my underlays and I was literally just going and I was about to put them all down, like not even leaving any space for whole boxes. Like this is why I have to have sticky notes to mark where my boxes go. Otherwise, I just like start putting stickers down. But anyways, um, this kit I actually got as a freebie from Carly Plans during her Black Friday sale. She said like the first 10 orders would get like a Leonard Designs kit and um this art had just come out so she threw in you didn't know what kit um but she threw in this kit and it is personally not my vibe however i know it's a lot of people's vibe and i love that for them um so i decided to just do a mock spread um i don't feel like my foil choice was the perfect foil choice but however i'm not too upset because it is a mock spread and it's just random I like I said I just tried to go with like the celestial for some reason and I didn't really have that's just kind of what I had the most of um of extra I try to use like extra foil that I have in my collection but try not to use things that like are things that I'm going like that I think I'll use like I try to use things that like I know I'm not going to use if that makes sense so I knew I wasn't really going to use these celestial underlays they're just like not me um so yeah that's that's really what it came down to and, and then I have some moon underlays and then some like star underlays so I tried to keep with the celestial theme however like I thought the hollow would pop against the dark colors and it definitely does but uh it it could have been better but I am excited to see people's like rail spreads with this when they really thought out foil combinations so should be fun but anyways long story long oh yeah and then I threw in these butterflies which I don't know why I think I was just like oh black underlays like these are from Plain Hannah I got these forever and a half ago um in an overlay or in a grab bag like I have not ordered from Plain Hannah in years so I've had these for years so yeah I just for some reason like I've seen other people do this where they only have one print and so they have like an every other thing going and so I really kind of wanted to try it and that's what mock spreads are but I realize it's not my vibe I love it with other people do it but for like my brain it just doesn't work to have not matching um overlays if that or underlays if that makes sense wow I feel like my words are just jumbled I apologize Anyways, I had these <laughs> I had these plans written out for a week in November and I could not find them anywhere. Like I pulled all the stickers and scripts for it and I could not find them anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. And so then I pulled all new scripts and stickers and then like a week later I found it and then I was like, you know, palm to face just like, ugh, I don't want to put all these scripts and stickers back. So I figured I'll just use it for a mock spread. So those are the random scripts that I pulled in for a mock spread. And then I tried to pull in like some foil, like some hollow to bring the hollow cohesively. But I honestly feel like the couple hollow scripts just ended up making it worse. I, it's just like fun to try different things that other, you see other people do. But it makes me realize that like what I'm doing is truly what works for me. But it's good to experiment because you never know. Maybe you could find something that you love like I experimented with the double overlay boxes and then I found out that I'm addicted so you know uh you got to try things to know and confirm if they're your thing or not that's why I love these mock spreads but I thought it'd be fun for the rest of the space because these plans are literally irrelevant um to do a movie this or that no not movie tv show this or that so let's get right into it all right, first up is Riverdale or Stranger Things, and I've never seen Stranger Things, so it has to be Riverdale, and I didn't even finish Riverdale. It it just is, like, too suspenseful for me, and if you listen to my last 
um, or watched my last video when I talked about some movie this or that, you know, that like I don't like anything suspenseful because I'm a baby. So yeah, I guess Riverdale because I've never seen Stranger Things. I don't think I'll be able to handle it. The next one is Gossip Girl or Pretty Little Liars, and Pretty Little Liars falls under one of the more annoying shows. I stand by ABC Family shows, like, 100%, um, and I've definitely watched my fair share of annoying shows, like Secret Life of Teenager. That show is really annoying when you look back on it, but for some reason, Pretty Little Liars just, like, gets under your skin a little bit, some of the characters. Um, at least my skin gets under my skin, I should say. Um, so Gossip Girl, but I watched Gossip Girl at way too young of an age. Most of it went over my head, but I was there for the fashion. <laughs> Not that I would ever dress like that, but that's like, that was my takeaway. And, um, yeah, I just like loved Blair and Serena at the time. And fun fact, I love the name Blair, not from Gossip Girl directly, but I just think that that is like, that's one of my favorite names. Um, so fun fact. <laughs> Next is Vampire Diaries or Black Mirror, and I've never watched either. I am considering watching Vampire Diaries because I feel like people have been talking about it, and I love older shows like that, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. And then, um, what was the other one? Black Mirror? I've never even heard of that. I mean, I guess I've heard of it, but I could not tell you what it's about at all. So, neither. Next. Um, the next one is <laughs> Friends or How I Met Your Mother. Never seen How I Met Your Mother, although I've watched How I Met Your Father, but that was just because of Hillary Duff. Let's be real. Um, so Friends, which I would have chosen over pretty much anything anyways. I love Friends. It's great. I'm not like a hardcore fan like some people, but it is a great show and it's a good comfort show. All right, the next one is, ooh, this one's a hard one. Dawson's Creek or Gilmore Girls. I truly love them both. I've rewatched them both. They both have their strengths, but I think I'm going to go Dawson's Creek only because the ending of Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls starts off so strong and I love the beginning, the original, but just the ending with just, I just don't like Rory's ending. It really bugs me and it really prevents me from rewatching. And yeah, so I just like, I like Gilmore Girls for a lot of reasons. But I don't know. I think I'm going to go Dawson's Creek, Pacey and Joey forever. <laughs> All right, the next one is Grey's Anatomy and, or This Is Us. And I'm going to go with This Is Us. I've never seen Grey's Anatomy. Um, so, yeah. But I also never finished This Is Us. But I did like it. The, the time that it came out, I really, really enjoyed it. And then it kind of started to get a little old. But I do, I do like it. And I have considered going back and rewatching. So go with that one. And then the next one. Oh, this one is so hard. Parks and Rec or The Office. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm going to go with The Office only because it has had my like full attention and humor for longer. <laughs> but it's just like the original. I didn't watch Parks and Rec until like way after it was out with my husband um, but I do think Parks and Rec has some really, really funny, like, liners, so, but, uh, I'm gonna go with The Office. All right, the next one is Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Community, which are also both great series, but I'm gonna go with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I really love that series, so that one's pretty funny. They, they both are really good, though. Um, and then the next one is Jane the Virgin or Dynasty. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's gotta be Jane the Virgin because I love Jane the Virgin. Anna, if you're watching this, I know you're with me. Um, <laughs> I know Cafe with Anna loves Jane the Virgin. But um, yeah, Dynasty has its moments. It also doesn't have its moments. Also, can we just take a second how I was being way too picky about this spread and like was ripping stickers and all that. And it's like it just it didn't need to be done. It didn't need to be done. It was a mock spread. It just doesn't matter. So I need to tell myself to remember that. Um, I think this is when I was like trying to add in like foil. This is when I was like, oh, I should add in like foiled scripts. That's something else I've been trying to do. Um, because again, these mock spreads are like experiments. And then, yeah, it just, just didn't work out. All right. The next one is Game of Thrones or Suits. Wow. Those are very different um, suits. I love suits. I've always loved suits. 
and I think it's funny. It went on Netflix, and now it's, like, making a comeback, and I've seen more videos of people watching it. Um, my husband thinks it's, like, the most boring show in the whole wide world, but I I enjoy it, <laughs> and it's fun to, like, see people now rewatching it and enjoy it as well. It's on my shows to potentially rewatch soon. And the next one is Breaking Bad or Prison Break. Prison Break, for me, I've never seen Breaking Bad, but Prison Break is pretty good. And then Chuck or Psych and um, Psych. I've only seen a couple episodes of Chuck, like, randomly in college. I had a girl on my floor that was obsessed with it. Um, but, yeah, I, I enjoy Psych. It Both, of, like, Prison Break and Psych have been, like, shows that I watched with my husband early on in dating. So, has a special place in my heart. Okay, this next This or That is like Netflix TV show This or That, so that should be interesting. The first one is Virgin River, Outer Banks. They're both great, but Virgin River. Um, then the next one is Bridgerton or The Crown, and I've never seen The Crown, so Bridgerton, but Bridgerton would win in my books. Okay, next is Jenny and Georgia or The Umbrella Academy, and Jenny and Georgia. I've never seen The Umbrella Academy, but I'm pretty sure it falls under that, like, science fiction or something. <laughs> the next one is Jenny and Georgia or Never Have I Ever, and I like both of those shows, but Sweet Magnolias will always have my heart. I love that show. It's just sweet, you know, and that's that's my vibe. And then the next one is, ooh, this is the last one. Nice. This, I feel like, was a really long this or that, so thanks for sticking with me here. But the last one is Exo Kitty or Emily in Paris. And Emily in Paris, I did like Exo Kitty, though. But, uh, yeah, Emily in Paris has had more seasons, so that, I think, has to win because I'm deeper in it. But, yeah. That is it for this this or that. Let me know if you have any controversial opinions or any shows that I missed that I haven't seen or that I really should push through my fear of. But um, I feel like this mock plan with me is like kind of long. I tried to cut it down. So let me know if you are still interested in these or like what part of the sticker process do you want to see? I feel like you never get to see me laying down the like actual stickers and scripts so that's why I tried to keep as much of that in but I know sometimes I like watching the base more of just like how the spread comes together so I tried to keep both in for this but let me know what is your favorite to see do you like to see more of the base or do you like to see more of the stickers like I know people like to see and hear the stories but for these mock boards I don't have any stories so that is it there's a little wiggle and thank you so much for watching bye